dogs assisted humans in daily tasks for centuries. While their roles fade into history, dog breeds are still a source of happiness for many people. Sadly, many breeds suffer from genetic diseases more now than ever before. Many breeds decline in health. But where do these diseases come from? Before explaining, we must first dive into the genetics of the dog. Like humans, every cell in a dog's body contains instructions for genetic functions. These instructions are stored in the center of the cell in chromosomes as DNA. This DNA is made up of many different sections called genes. A gene is like a mold for a genetic function. Per function, each dog receives two variants, one from the father and one from the mother. Together, they comprise a locus, the workshop for this function. For a genetic function, you could think of tools, traits or parts of the body. Genes regulate building the tissue, organs and all other components that make up a living, breathing dog. All the genes work together to ultimately build your dog in all its beautiful appearance, character and life-supporting functions. A dog has about 40,000 genes in 20,000 workshops. And of those genes, 5 to 20 are broken. This is common for every dog out there, no exceptions. Normally, this causes no harm as long as in a locus, only one gene is broken. The other gene still works and therefore its life-supporting function does as well. But with dog breeds, there is more to the story. All breeds once started with a small number of founders. These animals were the source of all the unique genes in the breed. There was much diversity present. Since then, however, only a small number of dogs have been bred, while all others hardly had any progeny at all. For one single generation, this would not cause any problems. But with almost every dog breed, this is repeated generation after generation for decades. The genes of those small number of breeding dogs dominate the gene pool, while all other genes become scarce or disappear altogether. Diversity is decreasing. Now, there are many copies of the same gene within each breed. Therefore, also the puppies within each new litter will frequently receive the same gene in each locus. This is also the case for the 5 to 20 broken genes that every dog carries by definition. And that is what causes the predicament. It is now common to find both genes broken in one locus, which causes issues with the life-supporting function. The dog becomes ill. It is because of this phenomenon that dog breeds suffer genetic diseases more often. There are not more broken genes within the breed, but they find each other much more often. Dogs Global assists in keeping breeds healthy or restoring health when it has declined. This platform utilizes all data on dogs worldwide, pedigree, DNA, shows, performance and health. Scientific algorithms determine which dogs still carry genes that are unique. Breeders can find suitable dogs within preference lists. This enables them to breed dogs that are exemplary as well as healthy while contributing to the diversity of the breed. Genes that are unique will become more frequent again. The balance within the breed will be restored. Dogs Global continuously monitors the population so that diversity and health are preserved while the breed is kept pure. Make dog breeds healthy and their owners happy. Join Dogs Global. Visit www.dogsglobal.com to find out what you can do to support your breed.